You want to use a controller in Minecraft 1.21.3 Java Edition. Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to use a Xbox controller, but also a PlayStation controller. Any controller that you can connect to your PC, you will be able to use with this mod. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Speaking of the mod, the mod we're going to be using is Controlify. This is a mod that, as you can see, controls support for Minecraft Java Edition. It's what it does. It adds controls to Java Edition. And uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. It supports gyroscopes and tons of stuff and is great for, you know, accessibility and all that as well. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first, come here. This is the second link in the description down below. That'll take you to the official Controlify download page. Click on versions here, and then you want to download the Fabric 1.21.3 version. There's a lot going on here, so we can filter this to Fabric, and then the game version 1.21.3, and this is the version we want here. Click the download button, and it will begin after a few seconds. You may need to keep or save this file right like so, and it's 100% safe to do that. While this is downloading, come us from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown that xyz says sgh just your very own 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server for you and your friends you can easily add mods plugins and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out if you have any issues along the way so stop struggling to host a minecraft server and play minecraft with your friends the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown that xyz says sgh nevertheless we also need to download yet another config lib why do we need to download this well it's a compatibility mod a basically library mod that is needed for Controlify to work. So this is linked, of course, down below, and the download process is the same. Go to versions, and then we want to find the Fabric 1.21.3 version. It's a lot here, so we can filter for that. Fabric, and then game version 1.21.3, and there it is. Click the green download button, and it will begin downloading. You again need to keep or save it. Two more things need to be downloaded. The first is the Fabric API. This is an API mod that is required for a lot of Fabric mods, including Controlify. Of course, it's linked down below. Scroll down, click the Download Fabric API button, and then that will take it to Curse Forge. Click on Files, find the 1.21.3 version. Right here it is. Click the three dots, click Download, and the download will begin after a few seconds. You may need to keep or save it. Once you have saved the Fabric API, we finally need to get the Fabric Mod Loader itself. The Fabric Mod Loader is the way that all of these mods interact with Minecraft. So the mods on one side, Minecraft sits on the other, and Fabric sits in the middle, allowing them to work together. Of course, there's the complete guide on getting Fabric in the description down below that will take you here. And we're going to be going over most of that in this video. But if you do have any specific issues, this article may be better for you. Go ahead and click on Download here for Fabric. It will take you to Fabric's official download page. Go ahead and click on the Download Universal Jar link. This little link here. And when you click on that, the download will begin after a few seconds. You may need to keep or save the file. The reason we're getting the Universal Jar is because it will allow you to install other Minecraft mods and things like that easier in the future. Nevertheless, we can finally minimize our browser. And what we want to do is move all of these to our desktop. They're going to be in our downloads folder here so we can drag and drop every single one of them to our desktop and we have controlify we also have the fabric api the fabric installer and yet another config lib we're going to be using the fabric installer first so go ahead and right click on that click on open with click java and click ok but if you don't have java here or if you do you click ok and it doesn't work you need to get java 21 as a minecraft 1.21 you need java 21 so in the description down below we have an in-depth guide on how to get java 21 for minecraft mods and servers it goes over everything you need to know to get java up and running for Minecraft. Once you've done that, you may also need to run the jar fix, but first get Java, then run the jar fix. The jar fix will take all the jar files on your computer, like the fabric installer and your mods, and link them to Java 21, making them work together. Finally, though, we can right click on fabric, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. That will open up the fabric installer. Make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed, then select 1.21.3 here, and then create profile. Make sure that's checked, and click install. Now fabric will install. The only reason it wouldn't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.21.3 before. If you're playing Minecraft with the controller all the time, you may have never launched that version in vanilla Minecraft. So if that's the case, just go play Minecraft without any mods or anything like that, just vanilla. All you gotta do is open it to the main menu to download the files it needs, and then close out of Minecraft, and then you'll be able to come here and install Fabric. Click OK and close out of the Fabric installer. You can also delete it. Now it's time to install all of our mods. To do that, go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. In the Minecraft launcher, click on Installations up here at the top for Java Edition, and then make sure Modded is checked. As you can see, if Modded is not checked, Fabric's not there. But if we check Modded, there is the Fabric Loader for 1.21.3. If for whatever reason you don't have Fabric Loader 1.21.3 here, after checking Modded, click New Installation. Then name this installation anything you want, but I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest play to play Minecraft, Modded, or Vanilla 
Umbrella with your friends. Then click the versions drop down box here and select release fabric loader 1.21.3. Then we can go ahead and change our resolution. I'm just doing that so you can see better once we get in game. The most important part is selecting that fabric version here and clicking create. Now how do we install our mods? Well that's done from the Minecraft launcher here as well. So just hover over the fabric installation either the one you created or the one that's there by default and click on the folder icon. Then you should have a mods folder. But if for whatever reason you do not have a mods folder, no worries. Just make one. Just right click new folder and name it mods. M-O-D-S all lowercase exactly like that. Open your mods folder and drag and drop any Minecraft mods you want to install, including the controller mod, controller fi, as well as fabric API and yet another config lib. All of these is what you'll need to install in order to get a controller working in Minecraft. Now we can go ahead and play Minecraft using our fabric installation, and once we play Minecraft using that, we will be able to use our controller. So much so, I'm going to go ahead and plug my controller in via USB. If you do connect your controller via Bluetooth or something like that, it will work. I just always use USB for mine. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. That way it's up and ready to go when Minecraft launches and the controller mod can find it right away. So when you first open Controlify, it will say native library. Many features in Controlify require an extra library that you need to download. Would you like to download them? Let's go ahead and click yes here and it will go ahead and download those for you, which is amazing. And now it kind of walks you through setting up and calibrating your controller. Now, this is going to optimize things, so let's go ahead and do that. It's going to calibrate the controller for this Xbox controller. Keep in mind, if you had another controller you weren't going to be using all the time, you would just skip that. Finally, click Done, and here we are. Now, after doing those configurations, unfortunately, the controller mod's not working. So what we need to do is actually restart Minecraft. With those libraries that we downloaded, those files that downloaded when we first opened, we need to restart Minecraft in order to make sure those are working. So let's go ahead and do that. Once Minecraft's back open, making sure we're playing with our Fabric installation. If we want our controller mod to work, you've got to play with the Fabric installation. This will work, and we'll be able to use it to control the main menu, do things like that. So right away when we join in, we can go ahead and press down, and it immediately recognizes we are now good to go. We are using the controller to navigate. We can go into multiplayer here, for example, and join our simple game hosting server, right like so. And yeah, th things, are, things are good to go. Now, it does give you a warning. This is true. Some servers may not like you using a controller on them, but this is a private server that I own, and any simple game hosting server you buy, you can use the controller mod without any issues. Um, a lot of public servers may have rules against uh, servers or how the movement is done with controllers, but it's actually very similar to Bedrock Edition. So we can use the bumpers here on the Xbox controller to move back and forth between the blocks that are selected. Left click to place a block, right click to break a block, Y to open up your inventory, all of that stuff. And um, yeah, you can double click, I think, forward, right, to go ahead and sprint, or is it hold right stick, something like that. You can sneak with left stick, all of that stuff. And if you did want to change and turn all of these off, because it is kind of crazy having all of this on all the time, you can go into options here and controls, and then there are controller settings, and you can go in here and change. I mean, just pretty much everything. It's actually crazy. But uh, Things like tooltips and stuff like that. So show in-game button guide can be turned on and off, um, right like so. And so if we now go ahead and go back, I think if it uh, is saving here, I can't, I can't get out of this. There we go, X to save, boom. Go back and now that's not on the screen all the time. Right, it looks a lot better, but uh, obviously you might want that if you're just learning to play Minecraft with the controller. It's cool to have the controls displayed. So there you have it, that's how you can play Minecraft with a controller in Java Edition 1.21.3. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your new Minecraft controller mod. We'll see you in the next video. I'm out, peace.